I've never had such a big press conference in all my life. Oh, you you know. Oh, talk to me. Come on, on. And now for their first press conference, a television conference in South Australia, the fabulous Beatles. Welcome. Welcome, boy. Thank you. Hello, John. Johnny. Hello. Hey, John. Paul. Hello. Hello. Hey, Paul. Hello. John again. Hello. George. How are you? 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 Welcome. We're out in the tabulator. Whatever happened to Derek Taylor? We now have to turn our back. The multitude. Oh, well, fellas, tell me, what did you think of the Adelaide reception? That was great. The bad numbers. Was it, was it like what I mentioned to you on the plane it would be? Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Was it like anything you've ever had before? No, no we've never done bad one of those drives as well. It was marvellous. How would it compare with the ones in the United States when you arrived at different states there? It was bigger. It was you know, bigger. Just more people. Do you think it was very well conducted? Yeah. Yes, so everybody was well behaved. You know. Did you get a fright uh, at all Not outside fright, the town no. hall? Shock. You know, there's so many. Do you ever get this feeling that maybe someone's going to sort of try and knock you off or something? I had a feeling might have got shot. Because yeah. it's the first time being sitting in the back of a car waving, you know, just like... You took a lot of shots, I noticed, in the car, George. Yeah. yeah. I was going to pocket. You're a very keen photographer, George. In fact, you all are, aren't you, fellas? Yeah. Mm. He's the most We have to have his camera out. Uh -huh. What was it you dropped off the balcony for? That was, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> no! It means it was him who dropped something No, it was him. No, man, you dropped me. Oh, I was joking! Hey, you're joking with me, man! Yeah. We were supposed that the airport was closed, but the kids couldn't get close to the plane. I didn't think it mattered now, with them all being able to see us anywhere along the road. Because they saw us better than, I think, by lining the road. They saw us better than if we'd have just... Jim, come here, Jim. Hello, Jimmy. There he is, Jimmy. It's Jimmy Nichols. Drama for a game Tell me, what did the Lord Mayor say to you? Uh, he said it was very nice to have us here and he was all pleased and have a drink. And what did you say to the Lord Mayor? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and to be here. What did you drink? Scotch and coke? Uh, yeah. no, just coke, coke actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fellas, a few questions that we didn't get down to yesterday. Um, how long do you rehearse a new number for? When you make up a new number, how long do you rehearse it for? Sometimes it takes an hour or two. But normally with new numbers, uh, we just record, we, we don't rehearse them until we record them. <laughs> He's on, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, John, um, with these tapes that you wore today, did you sort of, um, did you pick one of these up in Amsterdam or something? Didn't no, you? the first one we saw was in Amsterdam where we were going through these canals, some lad had one on, and uh, we couldn't get any, no, we could get one which wasn't the right colour, green. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we had four made in Hong Kong copies of this one in different materials. Correct. John, I, uh, being a little older than you for a good-looking gentleman, just a little older, just a little older, as a matter of fact, I, w I will remember the launching of uh, Frank Sinatra and Johnny Ray and Elvis Presley. And yes, fantastic. <laughs> Very good tonnage, but this, this, to my mind, is unprecedented by uh, virtue of the uh, fantastic build-up and the um, publicity and all the press agents, and I'm not detracting in any way from the talent that you obviously have. How much Thank do you attribute to Brian Epstein and his public relations men? And how many are well, there, to your knowledge? We've never had more than one PR oh, fellow with us, ever. It's a rumour about it. That and he's only, he's only got one, Brian's only got one for each artist he's got. So they have their own, you know, and they don't work together. And we've only ever had one, and, and most of the time we didn't have one till about six months ago. But even so, a lot of the success is due to Oh, him. yes. You know, is it? Oh, oh, I'll give you that. Yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> Do you think that Brian Epstein's going to wave his magic wand at you sometime and uh, include you as a fifth Beatle? Or a stand-in drummer for Ringo permanently? That I don't know. Jimmy, you, you've played with uh, many, many groups indeed. Would you like to tell me quickly? I know it must be at least a dozen. Yes, I've played with um, uh, Saul Stapleton, yeah. Oscar <laughs> Raymond, Billy Fury, John Brown, um, Francis Brown. Francis Fane. <laughs> <laughs> George, <laughs> Georgie Fane. What happened yeah, to George Fane? Fane. Yeah. Pardon? With Francis Fane. What happened there? Don't ask him <laughs> personal <laughs> questions, Ernie. <laughs> no, you went to play the drums, didn't you, Jim? No, I didn't go down to play the drums. I, I went down to, uh, you know, enjoy myself. Yeah. And how and, did you get uh, on stage? Hmm? How did you get up on stage? Did she call you up? Well, as soon as I walked through the door, she was just finishing her act about ten minutes you know, to what, um, the latter part of her act, and she said the Beatles are coming because everybody turned round. And uh, she invited me back to the dressing room where we had Oh, he didn't <laughs> tell us about that, did he? Where we had a drink, you know. And then the second show, um, I did the whole lot. 
Yeah, well, no. He might jump for a whole act. Yeah. She gave you um, something in return, didn't she, Jim? A little. Uh, she hasn't given. She hasn't given me anything but yet, but she's going <laughs> to. She's going to give me all her albums, and also she's having a sweater made for me. Uh -huh. oh. Tammy, having played with all these bands, so what, what's it like being suddenly thrust in with the Beatles? Oh, <laughs> at the end, you know. Have <laughs> any trouble getting the same beat as Lancaster? Um, well, I do my best. Oh, 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 no, yeah. we'd never have to, actually. You know, the sort of well, pattern, anything that's a bit zany usually, usually happens. When we were first starting off, we were trying to think of them. Yeah. We didn't have a manager or anything, so we were just sort of sitting around thinking of ones we could... Uh, one, we are going to try and get one of us to jump in the Mersey and swim it. But <laughs> none of us could none swim that far. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't remember this. And anyway, the Mersey. <laughs> What have been your most exciting moments in show business, individually, George? Uh, uh, I can't remember, there's so many, you know, it's ever since last September, you know, everything's been exciting. I think, uh, when we got to America, we found that they'd gone potty. <laughs> and when we got back to Britain last October, we'd been touring Sweden. And when this Beatlemania thing started, you know, we didn't we didn't hear about it because we were away. And we just landed in London. Everybody was there smashing the place up. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was good. Look, fellas, in your, you, you've had this uh, talent, of course, uh, potential talent, some years ago. But in your wildest dreams, did you ever anticipate that you would reach the stage that you have reached now? No. <laughs> you know, nobody imagines anything like this. What, what, what about your act tonight at the um, act? Centennial Hall, your concert? <laughs> How long would it last tonight? Your, your own particular segment? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes, minutes each, each house. Is there only one house? Two, two, two hours. hours. 30, 30 minutes each house. And are you constantly changing your, your act, or is it...? We uh, change it according to each sort of, uh, sometimes city or state or depending on what records are most popular, we usually change the order, because they've only got the same amount of records released in each place anyway. What about when you played the um, Royal Variety performance last year for Her Majesty? Uh, same act as always? Yeah. Mm, I think we had two jokes in that one, because the people weren't screaming so they could hear what we were saying, you know. <laughs> That's the only difference. And it was shorter as well. You oh, were I telling me, I think it was uh, George on the plane coming down from Sydney. I asked, uh, had you ever thought of playing in pantomime as a group, the Beatles? But you did, did do a special show. Well, yeah, we, we didn't like the idea of doing a pantomime. So uh, we did our own show, which was more or less like a pop show, but we kept appearing every few minutes dressed up, <laughs> you know, from <laughs> laughing, <laughs> doing all... Nobody laughed, mind you, we were. Yeah. Do you do comedy sketches on stage at all in any touring shows in England? No, no, no just no. for Christmas shows. And we've done a couple of sketches in TV shows. Yeah. Do you get um, nervous before any shows? Yeah. All of them. All of them. Yeah. So you yeah. ever ever trouble with um, you know the hordes of screaming fans outside the hotel or where you stay uh, for sleeping purposes? Can you sleep through all this sort of thing? Yeah. They never stay there all night screaming. Yeah, I've never known. Well, last night they're up till about midnight, you know. Well, hey. I mean, I don't even dream of going to bed for a while. Are you are scared of being hurt by somebody over enthusiasm? Yeah. No, you don't. Well, that's why we're not scared, because we've never been here. Uh, uh, maybe if we had, we'd be a bit worried about it. Uh, in South Australia, not only teenagers go wild over each other, but maybe you noticed uh, today coming in from the airport that um, a heck of a lot of uh, adults, especially yeah. uh, grandmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 the same in England? Well, I've never seen so many grandmas at once. You know, you usually <laughs> get a couple. <laughs> one, if there's a bunch of them, one sort of say, isn't, you know, by the time we've gone then. They all seem to know. You seem to be all very attentive. You, you can see what's going on. I noticed uh, behind you in the car that you could sort of follow everything that was going on, people with uh, mm. different posters. Do you sort of, you're really looking at the people, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You're very aware of everything around you. Yeah. Well, I think you've got to be. You, know, okay, you might get shot. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do you think were in Adelaide? Uh, Gentlemen, there's one question I would like to ask you. Huh? <laughs> the girl who's going to uh, present the ring, uh, the Adelaide uh, South Australian. Oh, have a, have a seat. We think she looks a bit like Ringo. She doesn't look like it. She's got better looking. An opal ring. 
to uh, Ringo, which the South Australian uh, oh, jewelers so retail or something. So hello. Uh, hello. 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 Hello, Ringo. <laughs> Look, have you got your sticks? <laughs> Gentlemen, there's one question I do want to ask you. Now, you've broken through the sound barrier, as it were, in uh, America. Uh, they used to call Nashville, Tennessee, the sound of the home of sound, which I guess it still is. But you've really broken through the sound barrier in America. Now, last week, I made a comment that you could possibly be the rear guard of other groups to come out from England. Now, would you like to comment on that? I'm not going to mention any group's name. Well, no, I think it's happened already. Well, it's happened in the States, isn't it? How do you mean the rear guard? The well, Rolling Stones, Underpapers, yeah, you know. Yeah. Usually the next to come out after us, you know, are Dave Clark and Jerry, but yes. Jerry's already been Jerry's here. Jerry's been. So the next model will probably be the Searchers, the Rolling Stones, Shrine Pool and the Channelers, I reckon. Would it be fair to ask you uh, which was the biggest uh, group next to you, naturally, when you left England? Uh, the Stones at the moment. The Rolling Stones? Yeah. They, they took over from Dave Clark about a month ago. Brian Epstein, uh, how did Brian actually, did he discover you all individually and put you together as a no, group? No, we we'd already made My Bonnie and all those other rubbishy records for Polydor. <laughs> and uh, the sort of kids from the cabin and round about Liverpool were going into his record shop and saying, have you got my Bonnie by the Beatles, you know, this goes on for hours. Yeah. So he got interested because they kept going in every day. And he asked one of the kids, who were we? And it, he thought we were German. And he came around and we were playing at the cabin, which is about 100 yards away. And then he went away and then came back again. And that was it, like, really. A lot of the kids in Liverpool, apparently, when I was over there, were a little disappointed that you hadn't been back to the cabin for so long to singer, uh, why is it? Well, why is it? Because we've got the song, if we didn't, if we played at the cabin every so often, we'd never get to Australia or America or anywhere else. We've got to make a choice, you know. And most of those people that are complaining weren't there when we were originally there anyway.